Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Monday, July 23rd. This is an energy that I'm picking up on today, whenever it resonates for you. And remember, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. You know, I feel like some of you are growing weary, <laughs> you know, on the edge. It's like whatever you're waiting for is, is taking a really, really long time. And I think that you're really determined to, to get there. Um, but it's just not happening on your time. So, so keep in mind that divine timing um, is real. It really is. And I'm saying this because um, the Nine of Wands is what came up. And look at that. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the independence. This is, you know, enjoying life as, your, as yourself, on your own, doing well, you know. Um, but anyway, I was talking about the Nine of Wands. That's where I was coming up with uh, my beginning here. Um, determined to, to keep going, determined to not give up, you know, keep going. Look how far you've come. That's what I'm here to say. I'm here to remind you of, of how far that you've come. Think back to nine months ago. Where were you then? And look at you now, okay? Now you're, you're more abundant, you're healthier, you're um, not sweating the small stuff as much. You know, there's a feeling of strong, independent strength here. Okay, you've gained a lot of strength. So, you know, yesterday I was in the car, and I don't know where I was going or what I was doing, but um, worth waiting for, you know, that angel romance card f f flew into my mind, you know. That's divine timing as well. So remember that the universe, God, angel, spirit, whoever it is that you honor, they have a plan. They have a plan. So trust. Trust the plan. Continue being abundant with who you are. Okay? Com continue. Um, just enjoying life as it is. And let the plan play out at the right time. I understand it's been going slow. It has. It's been going really slow, but the most concrete um, foundation isn't built overnight. Okay? You, you, if you get something quickly or impulsively or without a plan, without... A lot of thought. If something was is done without a lot of thought, you know, impulsively, on the fly, a lot of times, more times than not, it doesn't it doesn't last. So somebody is waiting for something solid. You're waiting for something solid, right? You know your worth. I want something solid, even if it takes a little bit longer. I'm willing to wait. Because in the past, things have been, you know, there's been extremes, extremes, it's been extreme, it's been extremes, ups and extreme downs. There's been a lack of harmony, there's been a lack of peace, there's been a lack of patience, and there still is. With this temperance card reversed. Now, this is also a card of divine timing, but it's reversed. Wait for something solid. Wait for something stable. You want something that's going to last. Victory and success. This is also about respect. You could even call it self-respect. This could also be, you know, confidence. Have confidence in who you are. People will respect you more 
for doing the right thing, for being confident, for you knowing your worth. You will be more respected for knowing who you are, what you're worth, for waiting. This is a passionate new beginning offered to you from above. Victory is coming. It will come. This could be a new partnership or a new opportunity that is very exciting. Very fertile. You know, there, there's going to be a lot of uh, growth involved, you know, a lot of ability for growth within a relationship or within whatever the situation is. But you have to be patient. And lack of patience is just going to cause chaos in your life. An offer of love. Because you've worked on yourself. You're ready. You know what you're worth. When you get to this point, everybody knows that you are stable. You're secure. That you're, you don't need you, them to come in and fix you. You fixed you. And you're happy. When you get to this point, that's when that offer of love comes in. <laughs> Whew. Let me make sure that this is zoomed in. Or focused. So... Now it feels with a justice card this is this is this is getting heavy it's getting heavy it's about you know the scales are are not balanced at this time because even though you're doing quite well on your own you're still waiting for this love whatever this is this emotional fulfillment and you're getting impatient impatiently waiting you've worked on yourself and now you're feeling like, you know, this life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. This isn't fair. Why is this happening to me? You may be feeling incomplete without this, whatever it is you're looking for. You're feeling incomplete. You're feeling a little empty inside. I'm here to tell you to keep your head up high. Okay, keep your head up high because it's coming. Wish fulfillment is coming. For if you're single, there's a new partner. But you've got to be confident and you have to wait for the right time. Now, it feels as though, you know, somebody isn't is doing themselves an injustice or they have in the past by acting impulsively and being impatient and getting with the wrong people. That's karma. If you can't be patient, you're going to get karmic lessons. Karma, lesson. They're both reversed. This is karma. This is lesson. Until you have enough self-respect to wait. To be patient. Because the thing is, if you think you need somebody to come in and fix you, that never works. It never works. You have to fix yourself. Fix yourself. Get to where you need to be. Be patient. Wait for it to happen. And that's when you will find something or you will be given something that is emotionally um, desired passionate and loving but if you try to control it it's not in your control you can't control it 
if you try to rush it, you're going to you're going to end up with some jokers along the way. The justice reverse, you could you could I mean that's jokers. So you bring yourself negative energy, you bring imbalance to your life in chaos by dealing with, you know, not being able to wait, settling. So anyway, there's wish fulfillment with a new partnership for somebody that's watching this. They're, they're growing weary like that nine of wands, growing weary, waiting, feeling empty and lost inside, thinking that, you know, I... Why is this happening? A lot of questions of why, 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 please, 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 now, now, now. When the time is right, they will bring it. So there is an opportunity, a new opportunity coming in for those of you that have been patiently waiting. For those of you that are trying to rush it and trying to, you know, control it. You may be, you may get another, another joker or two along the way. I'm just saying. So I feel like at this point, you know, somebody hasn't learned the karmic lesson because this is karma and this is lesson. They're both reversed. Somebody hasn't learned it yet. But somebody has because the nine of pentacles is a single person, could be man or woman, who is very abundant in their own right. They're taking care of business on their own. You know, they're taking care of their health. They're taking care of their bank account. They're taking care of their home. They're taking care of their life. They're taking care of themselves. And they're doing it quite well. I don't need you to come in here and fix me. I fix me. Then they come. And that's exactly what this is. So I feel as though there's a new opportunity that somebody has been waiting for. They've been growing really weary waiting for it. And... You know, for those of you that have been waiting patiently, that opportunity is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Don't wait. I mean, don't <laughs> do wait. Don't um, fret. Don't fret. There's a, you know, you will do yourself an injustice by acting impulsively. You will. So I feel like there's a new opportunity coming in for those of you that have been patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. We're going to get one of these. There's victory and success on the way. Victory and success if you have learned your lesson. Now, what's the lesson? Acting impulsively, overindulging, not waiting for divine timing, not being patient. That's the lesson. Codependency. I need somebody to fix me. And if you need somebody to come in here and fix you, then that is an injustice to yourself and you haven't learned your lesson. You, the, 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 the lesson here is you fix you. Then this new, passionate, loving beginning will begin but the timing is on you you can't escape it you have to fix you for those of you that have there's an offer coming in And it does lead to abundance and wish fulfillment. It's something you've been wishing for. A new door is opening. Okay? There could, there's a new partner here for those of you that have waited. Remember, think about this. Where were you nine months ago? Don't give up. Don't give up. Interesting. Oh, it's perfect as usual. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. That's what you want. And if you think you're going to get it on the fly, 
Well, that usually doesn't work out. I mean, sometimes it does. I mean, I can't say it never does. <sighs> they must be doing, oh yeah, they are. They're doing, they're doing work on a different road. So my apologies, I opened the door again. I opened the door again. That's a fuck. Oop, excuse my language. That's a message. I almost lost it for a second there. <laughs> oh. Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong. <laughs> We're talking about the nine of wands here. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced mind, body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You are never really alone. We are always with you, and you are being replenished with strength. And like I said, don't give up. The solid, stable opportunity does not come quickly. It does not. Let's get one of these. Support. Offer your support to someone. Experience the joy of serving others. Maybe that's where you meet this person offering support. I don't know. All I know is there's a new, passionate, exciting opportunity that is going to be handed to those of you that have been patiently waiting, have gotten to the point of abundance, security, stability, and self-love. If you have gotten to that point where you are absolutely loving who you are and loving your life, you have an opportunity coming in. For those of you that are are impatient and you know trying to control it, you could be you could be dealing with a joker, and that could be a karmic lesson that still needs to be learned. Talk to you later.